What's good in the hood, folks? Y'all already know who it is. It's Atlanta on Smash. Giving you educational information on why Bitcoin is the trade of the decade. Now let's get into it, shall we? See, most people, like the old me, love cash. We like the way it feels. We like the way it smells. We like the way it looks when we're taking pictures on Instagram. But I'm here to tell you, folks, cash is a depreciating asset. Who'd you dumb about? That means it ain't worth a goddamn thing. Not a damn thing! That means when you let cash sit in your shoebox or when you let cash sit in your checking account, you lose buying power. Who'd you dumb about? You remember when you used to go to McDonald's and they had a real dollar menu? That's what I'm talking about. When you used to could go to McDonald's and they had a whole McDouble for a dollar. Now it's two for three, six for eight, 13 for 45. This L that we're taking on our buying power will continue for the rest of our lives and the main reason for this is inflation. So if we turn our attention to this chart, okay, this tweet that was sent out by somebody, I don't really care to mention his name, I don't know who he is, anyway, you would have put in a dollar in your shoebox, okay, that same dollar would be worth about 75 cents. If you'd have put that dollar in Bitcoin, it'd be worth about 10 million dollars, you'd be a freaking millionaire. And finally, if we turn our attention to the chart which compares Bitcoin to the Nasdaq composite, you can clearly see over the past month, Bitcoin is a little more volatile, so it's going to be down a little more. But if we stay down and put our investment in perspective and zoom out for about the past six months, we can clearly see that Bitcoin has outperformed the Nasdaq composite by a factor of four, folks. And I cannot emphasize this enough. You got to stay down in the trap. Long term commitment equals long term growth. Funny thing about numbers, folks, you don't got to take my word for it. Just check the chart out. You can clearly see over the past 12 months, the Nasdaq composite has been outperformed by Bitcoin by a factor of six and a half, folks. All right. Like I say, I ain't no Jay the Juice man, but Bitcoin has been booming and bunking over the past 12 months. All right now, that's all I got for today. You already know who it is. Atlanta on Smash.